Right, here's your latest update for the expected and ongoing snow across the area. Did issue some new uh, highlights this morning. You can see a uh, winter weather advisory that's in effect for the bighorns. And also here we do actually the winter storm watch. Uh, amounts came off just a little bit here, enough to issue these. So lander foothills as well as across the eastern slopes of the winds. We had the winter weather advisory we put out yesterday afternoon for the Tetons as well as up across Yellowstone. You want to uh, start and end times on this, just go to our website right there, weather.gov slash RNW. Now as we time out the impacts, so we'll be coming into the west, especially the northwest, during the uh, morning hours today, on and off through the day. Next impact through mid-afternoon, the heaviest snow should taper off after that. Northwest east of the divide and across southern Wyoming, generally moving northwest to southeast. So Cody will see it first, probably holding off until about daybreak around the Bighorn Basin, around Buffalo, Wednesday morning as well here across uh, central Wyoming. Now Rock Springs I-80, the main batch of snow gets in Wednesday afternoon, but you could see a snow, few snow showers this afternoon into this evening as well. See the areas I outlined in red too, basically the Jackson Valley, Riverton Landers, Wells Casper. These would be the places where I think we'll probably see the maximum impact out of this. Now the confidence tables, now the criteria, start time, we're pretty confident about the start times on this. Max time and maximum impact, we're very, very confident on that. That should be high. So basically Wednesday, Wednesday night. Now snowfall amounts, remember I said yesterday, we'll have more, more of an idea how much exactly you're going to get well. That didn't happen. We're actually maybe a little less confident in the exact snowfall amounts. So we call that low. So for this storm, unless you plow snow for a living, I want you to focus on the impacts, not on the snowfall amounts and the timing of the impacts. It could get pretty nasty in some places Wednesday night. So whether you get five inches or 10 inches doesn't really matter. If you can't travel anywhere, that's what I figure. So let's take a look at some of the probabilistic stuff here. See, just a percent chance of seeing two inches or more. But a decent chance across the mountains. We're not going to focus on them right now. Just mainly focusing on major roadways and where people live. Decent chance here across I-80. This falls over a couple of days, basically about three out of five here, about 60%. About a one in two chance around Riverton. Land are a very good chance, about nine, but a 90% chance of seeing two inches is why we put the watch out. About a three and four chance around Casper and about 60% around Buffalo with lesser chances elsewhere. Least still will probably fall in this area here at Eastern Bighorn Basin where we talked about the downsloping flow coming with the northeast wind here. That's why they're probably not going to see as much. Now, if we bump this up to six inches, area dries out a lot. You can see where we issued those uh, watches. About a 70% chance around Landers, let me put it out there. About a 60% chance of South Pass City, good chance in the higher elevations of the wind. So South Pass isn't going to be any fun to travel over Wednesday and Wednesday night. Decent chance around Casper, about two and five, about one and four around Buffalo. Most other areas, not much of a chance though. Now, watch this when I bump this up to a foot. Again, mainly mountainous areas, but what really sticks out here? Right there, Lander, about a one in three chance there, 33%. That's come up from yesterday. That's a pretty big range across the area. Now, when I show you these other two maps, I'm going to show you basically the low and the high end snow. Trying to forecast this this morning, maybe if you like that air traffic controller from my airplane. With you know the messed up hair and everything, and so they picked the wrong week to quit drinking. I picked the wrong week to quit drinking, so I'm going to have one right now. It's water, don't worry. This is the likely least amount of snow we'll see across the area. At least two or three inches around land, that'll be the epicenter. But look at many of the other areas here. Maybe less than an inch in the valleys here. Good chance of seeing this out here. We're more confident in the western areas. The eastern areas, again, this thing moves through fast. Maybe just to come into an inch in many areas, except for maybe you land in this area right in here, where the northeasterly flow tends to upslope. Maybe just to come into an inch across uh, the I-80 corridor. Now, once you notice the contrast when I bump this up to the likely maximum amount, the contrast in color shows a look at some of these numbers here. Anywhere from about three to five inches across the uh, western valleys for a high amount, maybe over a foot locally across portions of the Tetons and southwest Yellowstone. But look at some of these areas here. Rock Springs low amount was about an inch, maybe five or six of things set up right across this area. So the other bigger contrast, Buffalo. Lowest was about a trace, maybe as much as seven of things set up right. Here across uh, Casper, big range here, maybe as little as one, maybe as much as ten of things set up right. But the biggest contrast I saw right here at Lander, we flip back and forth between this. Two inches on the low side. 16 inches on the high side. So still a lot of uncertainty with this. It's going to be kind of a banded snow that may enhance the upslope. We just don't know where those bands are going to set up right now. So 
I guarantee you we'll have a better chance of this this afternoon, I think, especially when I do this tomorrow morning before the snow really sets in across this area. But again, focus on the impacts, not on the total snowfall amounts. Here's our resources. You want weather, just go to our website, weather.gov slash RAW. You want road conditions, and don't call us for the road conditions. Go right to the source at y.yrow.info on the web. You want to call them on the phone, 511 out of state, 188 Wild Road. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your day.